Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another news video with The Domain. Boy howdy, we just have so much to cover at the minute. I'm going to be rolling out these news videos as much as possible and we are just reeling over from the news of the Winter Contingency set. This is basically the greatest set that Mega Constructs has ever made, maybe ever will make. But you know, good things don't last forever, and I do need to talk about the set that just got revealed. This is a polarizing one for a lot of people, the Arbiter's Quest. I'm gonna try and break down why some people are unhappy with this and some people are happy. Let's take a closer look. When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons. We swore to uphold the covenant, even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. The Arbiter's Quest. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Simon, you have taken me by surprise. Why are you talking at all negatively about this set? And, and hear me out. There is so much about this that works, but there is also a lot that doesn't. And less what doesn't work, more just what is a missed opportunity. I've been thinking about the name, The Arbiter's Quest, for the last month, ever since it was teased. My mind has been going crazy with the ideas of the Great Schism, of the team-up with the Master Chief, his final stand at the Battle of Sinaion in Halo 5 Guardians. Like, there is so much you can do with the name, The Arbiter's Quest, and I do feel like Mega Constructs has lost sight of that maybe fallen a little bit short. So first of all, there is a lot, I mean a lot of things that do work about this set, and we will go into those for sure. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, Sese Refumi. This is a picture of him in Halo Heroes, and then again in the 20th anniversary pack, which I should remind you came out this year. Like, we're getting the same name character within six months, and that kind of bothers me. I don't know. This set could have come with a heretic grunt. It could have come with a projection, a hologram of Sese Refumi, but instead we just get the exact same guy again. The set does have a lot of potential, but it's like you almost got there, but you missed out. The Arbiter is obviously a great touch, but let's talk about this Banshee, okay? The Banshee also really bothers me because this Banshee is not in the mission. It seems to have taken a lot of design points from the Aerial Ambush re-release Banshee, which, I mean, I do like. I will definitely collect this Banshee. It's gonna be a great one, but let's not forget, it's, it's heretic Banshees in this mission, which... It, again, you were like so close, but you decided to not use the right color scheme. It, it, it's very strange to me. So I would have loved to have some heretic banshees. That would have been like actually fantastic. People have gone nuts for that. But instead we've got a, another basic banshee. You can tell by the sound of my voice, like I don't like complaining about any kind of mega construct sets, but this one, it does seem to bother me that we... We, we just got a basic Banshee, like, <laughs> like you, you were so close, <laughs> you know? But let's talk about what does work in this set. The Arbiter is a great touch. For anyone who has not got an Arbiter yet, he is basically as important as the Master Chief to some people, but he is in a limited amount of sets, and every time he does get released, he immediately shoots up in price once the set becomes discontinued. So, I don't mind a steady stream of Arbiters, I don't mind that at all. I hope that there is some detailing running in between the sort of grooves of his armor. They can vary between which Arbiters are more detailed than the others, but I think you'll all agree that the standout character from this set is the Heretic Elite. Like, this is top quality, top notch, absolutely beautiful. I love that gold, and this is straight out of the mission. Like, they've clearly understood this part. This is a really nice Elite. It's, it's strange that it comes with the old energy sword. I thought we were past that, but apparently it's being released in some sets and not others, which I honestly don't mind. But this Heretic Elite is top grade. Like, I am very happy with that. And this barricade, also really great. I like that it's in the same color scheme as the Elite. Uh, that is like the heretic color scheme. Cough, cough, the, where's the Banshee? Where's the heretic Banshee? I don't know. This barricade, again, it, it's, it's like, it's good, but I want more scenery. Like, I want a section of the mission. The Banshee, I do have to say it looks really pretty. Like, I am excited to add that to my collection, but I'm going to be adding it to my collection as a Covenant Banshee, not a Heretic Banshee. Which, you know, I think is just a missed opportunity. And very strange, because it's it's just a different color. Uh, it's just some extra decals, you know? It, it looks quite basic. 
I do like the firing mechanism that it looks like it has at the front. It looks like it uh, holds the missiles very nicely. So I'm excited to get it into my hands. And in general, I think this is going to be a very cheap set for how much it offers. There's the packaging as well. Quite funny that the Arbiter is not on the packaging, but I guess he's shooting at the two elites. In general, the Arbiter's quest, it's good. It's good. It's not exactly what I wanted. I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me. But, you know, I, I think I've pointed out the pros and the cons of this set. Please do let me know in the comments down below. Am I on the money with this or am I far away? Is this actually the greatest set that ever got announced and I'm just completely off the money? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Give this a rating out of 10 in the comments down below. I would really like to read some of those. And thank you very much for tuning in. I'm doing each of these sets one by one because I really want to take the time to give my proper full thoughts. The winter contingency, you know that. Like, if you want a positive review, go watch that. Like, I am just in awe of that set, the absolute beast that is Winter Contingency. This is the second of this run of news videos. We've got another couple of sets to cover, including loads of Jazzwares stuff. So stick with the domain for all your Halo collecting news. And please do make sure to check out my new channel, Daily Halo. We're about to hit 500 subs. Have a great day. You stay awesome. You stay safe. The domain is signing off.